legend Medical incision gave me infrared vision Stare inside you, break apart your lifeline The steepest of all mountains, I swiftly climb Hip-hop zombies, wearing Abercrombie Collars all cocked, they're the fucking donkeys We're the real shit, spine snapped into fragments On a manhunt, eradicating the stagnant Collective chi, rhyme animal in number seven Australia to Cape Breton, MCs begin to fight what about everybody? It's Tuckle Welcome to the channel. Oh, the Ignacio stuff out there. Oh, there we go. Well, oh, there he is. He, he, he can control. He's an admin. Uh, you are listening to Temple of Mars podcast, everybody. Welcome to the show. If you're watching, if we're on a third track now, but all these videos get cut up, so I feel like I should do a little bit of a, a bit of an intro. Um, okay, so we're watching on our channel at Temple of Mars. Come over there so you can vote. Other than that, subscribe wherever the hell you're watching it. I don't give a fuck. Let's move on. Uh, Joe is now the uh, is now the uh, the person that's in charge here. Beach City Kings. Never heard Beach City Kings. This one is called Warning, and we'll talk about it afterwards. Warning, rap styles is dead, it's that you bore me I'ma keep hope alive and strive for one thing To the life music, yep, it's on me Warning, rap styles is dead, it's that you bore me I'ma keep hope alive and strive for one thing Warning, rap styles is dead, it's that you bore me I'ma keep hope alive My lyrical vibe for four reasons BCK stay in the lab for four seasons Attack a rapper's immune system And form legions when they step up We make their ears dangle, nose bleeding If I like the ghost, make toast and haunted castles You can't escape from our rhymes like jail shackles Hot like Penelope Cruz with lace teddies On a boat out in Italy's most She hand fed me Rock digs, spin more hits and rock steady Spit with a brick on his back, it's top heavy Spit with a split for a ton, they call deadly Then I split with a sick tight grip, the call Chevy Number one, throw a slug at your son and snatch his jewelry. Smack a fat booty, Mac Julie, out of the ball. I ain't bitch, now get out of the call. Rock tall, no strings attached, no rings to match. The militant ones on sneak attacks, go ahead. Swing your axe and I'ma clap back like John. My fifth believer, crease in your cap. Those no drums sound rap. amazing. That, my square to orbit. Forget it, you lost it, doggone it. You're just a needle in the haystack. Listen, kid, I've been doing this here from way back. Before white boys is wearing their wave cats. Before nerds rocking their skate pads. Who can't rap? Rock dog, I got a million a day back. Yo, you motherfuckers is whack. You can't escape that. I mean, dude, uh, I mean, that the band is sick. It's so funny how things work out. This afternoon, I did a stream. Uh, I, was, I started this new show called The Punk Rock Show, and I'm basically taking everybody, the viewers, on a journey through how I 
first right now I'm in where the first day or week that I discovered punk rock and I'm going to grow from there and go down different avenues. Anyway, I, the, I, I was listening to Punk Grandma 1 and songs from Punk Grandma 1 came out in like 1992. I got it in like 95 or 4 or something like that. And there's a Rancid song on there. And now that song was all on the upbeat. What is on the upbeat? Ska, reggae. Um, you know, and Rancid has, has this real upbeat ska punk type of vibe and i got that out of them that band sounded like rancid the guitar player was shredding at the end the drummer was tight as hell the bass player was on point the it's a band there's there's no way that's 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 produced um that i mean dude fucking right up my alley the tons of tons of verses slick chorus i was watching the video a little bit it, the, the whole video basically took place in a convenience store which I thought was kind of cool. Um, yeah, that's a solid nine from me. Um, I love it. I can, I can dig di live bands any day of the week. Ignacio, what are you saying? Your mic's off, bro. Your mic's off. <laughs> it was dope. I think um, it took me a minute to catch the timing of the chorus a little bit. Just, just took me a couple of run-throughs and then I felt like okay, I I feel where the you timing is. Yeah, yeah. I felt I felt where the timing was for it, um, and I think in the beginning that was what I was focused on. Didn't take away anything from the song for me. It just, I think I just I needed to, to kind of tap into that for a quick second. Mm -hmm. um, I liked his verses. The verses were pretty dope. It wasn't anything that was blow your mind like oh shit that was you know bar heavy, but it was one of those uh, one of those tracks that you could put on while you're driving and just vibe out to. While you're dead, while you're running, riding down the road, um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna give that a, I'm gonna give that a real strong eight and a half. It's a hundred percent in the poll right now. What are you saying, Chuck? Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go seven and a half. Um, the, uh, it, I'm not, uh, I'm not entirely convinced that I that I like the way the, the, the the rock and the rap meshed um they uh they they can mesh well um i think uh, it might just take me a couple listens through to um you know feel that together um but mm -hmm. uh i was get, i was getting total sublime vibes from it uh sublime, or pepper yeah pepper sublime, yeah. yeah um and okay. uh but uh yeah it was it was a cool track i certainly you know appreciate the the concept um and uh but yeah you know seven and a half i'd listen to it again um you know to see where i sit with it Cool. What are you saying, Lady Portic? Yeah, this one's going to get an eight for me. Um, yeah, I definitely got the ska vibe from it. I thought the live music in the background was dope. I mean, okay. that really brought out a lot. I think it really exemplified the versatility of hip hop, you know, and there's so mm -hmm. much that you can do with it. Um, bar wise, um, I thought it was decent. I preferred the first verse to the second verse. But yeah, I mean, this came correct. This was a nice choice. Solid. The, solid. Uh, what was it? Seven and a half? Uh, eight, eight, eight and a half? Yeah, eight. Eight. Solid eight. Okay, yeah. Joe, what are you saying? All right, just to give you guys a little bit of a background on the artist and, and the music. Yes, it was a live band. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the name of the group is Beach City Kings. Uh, the rapper is a, a guy from Virginia Beach named Rock Diggler. That's one of my homeboys. And uh, nice. he was originally down with uh, NERD with Pharrell and them. Oh, and, uh, okay. You know, that didn't pan out for him. So he started doing his own thing. And uh, cool. he, he's dope. He's absolutely, he's got better tracks. But I really like that one. You know what I mean? That was nice. Um, I like that. And, and that that's the reason why I put it up there. You know, um I I, I thought that the that the bars, the hook and, and and the live band all meshed pretty well together. I thought it was a pretty solid yeah. track. So I'm gonna give it a nine. Yeah, solid dope. nine and one hundred percent in the chat have said yes. That is going in the playlist. We are three for three. Let's get into the next one right now. <laughs>